Hello and thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be over place value of large numbers, more specifically numbers up to the billions place. And we're going to talk about how to represent these types of numbers. So let's get into talking about place value. Now here's a number, 12,345. When I've represented this number in this way, I have represented this number in standard form. And that's kind of like the way you see numbers most of the time. You see numbers most commonly this way. You see them on your cell phone, on the computer screen or the television, the cash register, at the gas station. This is how you normally see numbers. Now another way to represent numbers is in word form. Here's the same number, 12,345. And we also call this written form. You've taken the number and you've written it out in words. That's why it's called word form. Another way to represent numbers is in expanded form. And this is also called expanded notation. So what happens is you take the number and you represent each digit and its place and you expand it to show what each one's value is. For example, the one in 12,345 is actually worth 10,000. It's in the 10,000s place and it has a value of 10,000. The two in the thousands place has a value of 2,000. The three in the hundreds place has a value of 300. The four in the tens place has a value of 40. And the five in the ones place has a value of five. So when I take those numbers and I add them up, I get 12,345. And that is how you are able to expand your numbers. Now I do want to talk with you about how to represent a number's value. This is another very important representation of numbers. And let's take the number 1,345. Now this number, if I were to represent its value, I would use a picture or a model to represent it. And let's take the thousands place. If I'm going to represent 1,000, I'll represent it like this with a thousands cube. To represent 300s, I'll use 100 flats. Four tens I'll represent using rods or ten sticks, and five ones I'll represent using five ones. Now these are the models or representations used for the thousands place, hundreds place, tens place, and ones place. What you need to realize is when we get into the really large numbers, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, billions, we don't have easy representations like this to represent their value. So you won't see the value represented as much as you'll see the other forms when we get into the really large numbers. So we are going to work on reading, writing, and saying large numbers. But more than that, you're going to work on representing numbers in these ways. So let's represent a large number in these three forms. Let's take the number 631,309. Now, when I represent this number in standard form, I'm representing the digits. This is the normal everyday way you see numbers. When I represent the number in word form, it's read like this, 631,309. Now when I expand the number, I take this number and I represent each digit in expanded form by representing its value. So the six represents 600,000, the three represents 30,000, 1,000, 300, no tens, and nine. And that represents this number in expanded form. They all add up to 631,309. Now I do want to point out that in the tens place, I have a zero. So the tens place has a value of zero. I don't have to put anything in expanded form because there's nothing to put in. There's a value of zero. So it just goes from the hundreds place in expanded form and then it skips the tens place since there's no value and goes to the ones place. So here I have a number represented in this place value chart. Um, there's many variations of this type of chart. This is just one that I made. So we're gonna place numbers here so we can talk about their place and their value. And here's what I mean. The one is in the ones place and it has a value of one. The seven is in the tens place. It has a value of 70. The six represents 600. It's in the hundreds place. The five represents 5,000. It's in the thousands place. 
the 3 represents 30,000 in the 10,000s place, and that 4 represents 400,000 in the 100,000s place. Now, each digit here has a place in this number, and each digit has a value in this number. So, the number 435,671, each digit is represented here according to its place and its value. Let's get into a number that goes up to the billions place. So here I have a number in my place value chart that goes up to the billions place. And here's how we represent the number in standard form. It's the same way it's represented in the chart. Here's the number in written form, and that's written in words. And then the number in expanded form, where every digit in the number is expanded to represent its value. And here is the value of each digit. So this number is read 4,911,632,801. Now you can see when you get into the billions place, you end up having numbers with lots of zeros. So be really careful when you read and write and say these numbers. Make sure you're paying attention to the zeros and you don't rush when you're representing them because it's easy to make a mistake with such large numbers. So let's get into another number. Here's a number on the place value chart that's read like this, 3,724,912,600. And let's answer some questions on this number. What is the value of the four? So let's find that four. I see the four is here. And I wanna talk about the value of the four. It's in the millions place, and that four has a value of four million. Let's look at the next question. What place is the seven in? Well, the place is at the top of the place value chart. Here is my seven, and I see that the seven is in the hundred millions place. Let's look at the next question. What is the value of the six? So here is the six. It's in the hundreds place, and it has a value of 600. And let's look at the last question. What place is the three in? The three is in the billions place and it represents three billion. I hope you've enjoyed this video about place value of large numbers up to the billions place. If you'd like to see more videos in the future, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in any of the resources used in this video, please read the description below. Thank you and have a great day.